have a, a personal question to ask you. With you being a Caucasian founder, what is it like when you're the human that you're serving is typically a human of color? What, what, is, that, what is that like professionally? Right, because I understand why you do this. You do this because you love it, you're passionate about it, and you found you saw a white space that was not being served and you wanted to serve it. But humans aren't always easy on founders. And so what's that like in in in, in your in your work world and then in your in it personally? Well it's definitely changed as my company's gotten bigger. I mean from day one, when people would walk into my medical spa, I would be questioned, like, I mean, down to, like, what do you know about black skin? Or, like, you're white. You know, people, some people would say it really nicely, like, hey, you know, um, <laughs> just like, you know, with hair texture. You know, you, yeah. I might go to somebody and be like, hey, do you commonly deal with my hair type? You know, and I think that there's a way to say anything, and I was asked all day, and I would always try to, you know, let them know, like, look, it's all about education and experience. Like, there's plenty of ma male gynecologists out there. You know, do you want to go to somebody who has your same skin tone, or do you want to go to somebody who is educated and experienced in dealing with it? And honestly, with that um, answer, 99% of it went away, plus they were meeting me in person. And you can feel the vibe, you can feel who the person is, but it has really changed. You know, we are a big brand. Um, and it's like your products, they're not meeting you in person. No, not at all. And, you know, people have unfortunately, you know, created some really hurtful narratives about myself and the company that on some days make me, you know, not, not want to get up and do what I do. Yeah. You know, but... Um, and that's why I want to get off social media. That's why I want, <laughs> that's why I want to us all to boycott social media because it's it's a tough place to be. Yeah, um, but you can't though. No, no. And you know, um, I just at the end of the day, we are by far uh, supported more than we aren't. I know that if you do the digging in our company and me, you are going to see that we are the real deal. And I know that people face this adversity in companies, you know, outside of race. Like founders and, you know, people in the public are always going to be challenged. And that just goes along with being successful. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did I answer your question? Yeah, you absolutely did. But I, th I just, th I wanted to ask you that because it's a real thing. Yeah. You know, and, and people can be unkind. And, you know, to me, skin color does not matter. We're, hum we're the human race. We're not races of humans, right? We just, we've just been conditioned to be this way and think about race first. But I know you, obviously. I know how much you love this work. And, um, you know, and so I wanted to ask because I know somebody here was probably thinking it too, right? And that's okay to think. I, I think that it's normal. But yeah. I just wanted to know because we don't often get to talk about how it makes us feel. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I feel like if everybody in the world chose to ignore issues that did not affect them personally, like where would we be as a race and as humankind, you know? But whenever you are trying to do great things, you're going to be challenged. And it just, it is what it is. But there is a human factor in it. It's hurtful at times, for sure. 